plaintiff, Corinne Hubbard, says while dating the defendant, they drank excessively and used cocaine until Corinne checked herself into rehab. Corinne claims she's been sober for two months and she's suing the defendant because he wrecked her car. Defendant Terrence Shepard admits that he and Corinne used cocaine, but insists he did not introduce her to the drug she was already using when they got together. Tarrant claims after the accident, Corinne only cared about her car and not about his well-being. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, um, Your Honor. I met Terrence when I was 14 in middle school. We dated for a small period of time and um, just, you know, years passed. Uh, he spent some time in prison for, I guess, uh, drug use, a drug... Uh, um, distribution? <laughs> distribution. And I was a teen, teen mother. Um, uh, what? I was a teen mother during that oh, time. Oh, you were a teen mother. Yeah, I was a teen mother mm -hmm. um, during that time. Got um, it. So uh, years passed, and we just recently ran into each other in January. Um, uh, when I saw him, I was very happy to see him because uh, over the last couple of years, I've always had him in my mind. Why just the last couple of years? Um, You've known him since middle school. I have. I have. used to go out a little then. We, we did, but so, I... And when you saw him, you had sparks, and you said, that's who I've been thinking about the yes, last two yes. years. <laughs> well... <laughs> you... <laughs> have not been with him for years. I have not. But you just started thinking about him two years ago. So the other years, why weren't you thinking about I him? I had a lot of things to deal with, and he was far from my mind that I had to take care of. Suddenly your mind became free. Yes, it was free, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and me and Terrence got into a relationship, and... Um, it was great, but um, it wasn't a good kind of great. Um, we would drink and party together, um, do coke and shop and whatever we wanted to do when we had a lot of fun. But uh, I realized I was getting becoming a person that I did not see myself becoming. Um, so I checked myself in rehab. Um, I've been clean and sober for two months. Um, working very hard. Thank you. How often were you using? Um, it got to the point where it was every day. Um, okay. I was drinking, my alcoholism I've been dealing with for years. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm finally admitting to myself that I do have a problem. Good. Good. That's the first step. It sounds like you're on your way. Two months. You go to NA classes? I am. I'm actually finishing up my six-week program yeah. Friday. That's very effective, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm, it, I tell people that. Um, I'm an AA, and I feel Good. like AA is the most, like... So they're not combined? I thought they kind of went together. I thought when you go to NA meeting, you also talk about your alcoholism. You say, I'm a, I'm a dope fiend and an, al <laughs> and an alcoholic. <laughs> not making fun of my NA folks. I'm so glad you all go in AA. It just sounds more time efficient. They want you to work so you can stop the temptation with an idle mind. And idle minds is the devil's workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are uh, not working, you're going in A and AA all the time. And on the way back one day, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I know you're strong, and if you go as often as you feel you need to, you'll be fine. Yes. And did he go into recovery? Um, no. Um, and I, I really do hope that he does take. When did you all break up? If you have. Um. I don't really consider us broken up. Right. I'm there for him whenever he needs me. He's there for me whenever I need him. Um, we communicate fairly well. Um, they all still kiss. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Y'all ain't broke up yet. <laughs> Sorry, let me hear from you. How are you doing, Your Honor? Uh, yes, like Corinne said, we met around uh, seventh, eighth grade, dated briefly. Uh, I don't know what me going to prison has to do with this case, but that most definitely happened. Uh, I came back into town around last year, reached out to her via Facebook. We started talking. Uh, the drug use is right, most definitely. You turned her out on cocaine? Most definitely not. She was already using? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, the, the relationship was good. And uh, 
Yeah, the relationship was good until uh, until I crashed her car. Okay, and that's what we're here for today. Uh, she says you're still uh, uh, addicted to cocaine. Is that true? And do you think you need help? I mean, that's your business, but I would like to help you if you're addicted. Are you? Need yeah, any help? A little bit. Well, I'll let you talk with my producer about whether you'd like some help with it. All right, and we'll help uh, take care of whatever help you need. All right, let's. Uh, and you don't appear to be far gone, so we should be successful. Um, I can tell when they're far gone, it's a lot uh, more of a struggle. Uh, so, uh, how does he owe you for the car and the towing fee? Well, um, he took the car and uh, tried to pass a truck and a no. With pass your permission? I, 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 I guess with my permission. All right. When was it? Um, April 19th. All right. And what happened? Um, I guess he tried to pass a, uh, a truck. Um, he was on a run. Not a passing so He was on the run. She's two months. So <laughs> two months. We were going to get some. That was over two months ago. That was over two months ago. You sent him on a run. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. I sent him on a run, but yeah. it wasn't. It, it was for about, drugs, actually. About the tenth run. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Well, man. um, that that wasn't the case. No, um, he just uh, my daughter just went to a dentist, and we needed to go and get some medicine. For your daughter. She just had um, t teeth taken out. All right, so I can play with that, too. Yes, All you can right. if you want. So you just went to get some medicine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you did. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. So what occurred? Um, he uh, called me and said, I just totaled your car. And uh, I was kind of shocked and numb to the whole. Numb? Yes, I knew <laughs> that <not> with that one. <laughs> You keep saying your I got to choose up. better words. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go ahead. I didn't react the way I thought I would. Mm -hmm. He basically let me know that the car was totaled. Totaled. Mm -hmm. Um, and and the value for the how much is the value? Uh, well, I bought the car for two thousand five hundred. Do you have the blue book value? Um, I don't have a blue book. When did you buy it? It was just coming up on a year. Okay. Sir, let me hear from you. Uh, what happened was the night previous to that, we went to the, we most definitely went to the doctor. Her and her daughter was sick. Both had some colds or something like that. We come back to the house, spend a the night. Uh, then that, that next morning, I offered to go to Walmart to get the, uh, to get the medication. And, uh, in the course of me driving there, I was just, I was just, kind of pedal to the metals, a bunch of traffic. I was behind and I was getting impatient. So I'm passing cars, I'm passing cars on the right and uh, I get behind a, a pickup truck and an 18 wheeler and uh, I did too much. I was coming up on his left side and I see his blinkers. I'm like, this is not happening. Uh, next thing I know the door exploded and I'm, I'm in the bushes. Driver runs you were, up on you, you were thrown from the car? Nah, nah the, the uh, no, no sir, the car just slid into the, uh, the car slid into the into an embankment. So mm -hmm. yeah, I was I was happy that uh, I wasn't injured in no way, shape, or form. But kind of like the thing that bothers me about the about the uh, the situation is that it, like I, I feel like she doesn't care if I was hurt. Like she just cares that her car was hurt. So. What did she say that make you think that or not say? She didn't ask me if I was all right. She really? was just like, "Was the car like?" It's my car. I'm like, nah, that car's done. It's, it's over. I, I would like to just shed mm -hmm. some light on yeah. why I wasn't really. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not sure. I, I I feel bad for saying this, but in all reality, he was not home the night before, and I was on the couch waiting for him all night, and he came home and told me he f again. Oh, sorry. Oh. And um, I asked him to go get the medicine for me and my daughter, and I was upset that he messed okay, up again. Last night he hadn't come home and now right. he, you, you shouldn't give him the car. So you know he still was coming down. What time was it? It was nine o'clock in the morning. 9 a.m. and the man just coming in. The man been getting high all night. He was still high. Well, I wasn't really sure what he did. You night. were, you got high for how many years with him? So since no January? Years. 
Now you're going to play like you don't know what cocaine does to you. Well, I'm saying I don't know what he did the night before. He just did not come home. Oh, okay. You knew what he was doing that night. You worried that I'm going to uh, dismiss your case because you knew. I'm not going to do that. He admits to being negligent, so he's liable. But don't act crazy like you didn't know what he was doing all night and he came home and I gave him the car because I thought he was playing cards all night or teaching (laughs) Bible school or in Bible study. Yeah. All right, judge me for the plaintiff. Have a good day, brother. We're going to have the producer talk with you. I'm just glad that uh, at least somebody got what they want. But I hope that with everything out on the table, we can um, get together and build this relationship that we believe that we can have. So I'm good. <laughs>